Tuesday, February 17th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Five French teenagers are in police custody for vandalizing a Jewish graveyard in the country's east. Last week, around 250 gravestones in the town of Sarignan were knocked over or defaced with swastikas and Nazi slogans. Saverne prosecutor Philippe Vanier says the boys claim they thought the cemetery was abandoned and didn't know the graves were Jewish until after they began damaging them. The teens are between 15 and 17 years old and have no prior criminal records. They each face up to seven years in prison. A former Iranian vice president has been jailed in connection to a billion-dollar money laundering and embezzlement scheme. Last month, the country's Supreme Court sentenced Mohammad Reza Rahimi to five years and 91 days in prison and ordered him to pay a total of $1.3 million in fines and damages. Rahimi, who served under President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, once led Iran's anti-corruption agency. He's the highest-ranking former Iranian government official to serve prison time. The U.S. is one step closer to opening its skies to small commercial drones. The Federal Aviation Administration has proposed a simple approval process to govern flights of drones that weigh up to 55 pounds. Operators would need to pass a written knowledge test every two years, and they could only fly drones during daytime hours within their sight and at an altitude of under 500 feet. That could mean you can't have late-night Chinese takeout air delivered to your doorstep. But final regulations won't likely be out until next year. They say to never judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Psychologists at Royal Holloway University of London are using virtual reality to show that changing a person's skin color can change how they feel about race. They first measure underlying bias by testing whether a participant reacts positively or negatively to people of different races. Then, the team induces the illusion of body swapping, when a participant is led to believe their hand or entire body is a different color. Researchers say the experiment significantly reduces racist attitudes in their test subjects, and they're hopeful of the impact this may have in the real world. Giving them the opportunity to experience the world from someone else's perspective might be very important in, in changing some of their attitudes and understanding how other people see the world. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. In October 2013, questa nave ha salvato quasi 8.000 persone. Ho avuto modo di toccare con mano quella che era la reale consistenza dei flussi migratori. Ogni movimento, ogni interazione tra le mie piccoli e i miei piccoli gommoni e queste, queste imbarcazioni può provocare la caduta a mare di persone.